Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a different video for you guys. I've never talked about makeup or how I apply it or anything like that on my channel, but my sister recently gave me some foundations that aren't working for her. Um, she's a little bit lighter in skin tone than me and they were too dark for her so she gave them to me to try out. And I've never tried any of these brands so I was really, well, yeah, no, I've never tried these foundations, so I'm really excited to give them kind of a review and see how they go on. The color may not be, like, on point just because I didn't purchase them, but I did want to just let you guys know if you guys are interested in buying any of these products. So let's go ahead and get right in. Okay, so I brought you in a little bit closer, and I just have my eyebrows on and a little bit to my eyes, nothing special. So we're going to dive in. I'm kind of nervous. I just primed my face also. So let me just tack that up. Okay. So mind you, I did not purchase any of these makeup, makeups, these foundations myself. So I don't really, I'm going to turn on the air. I'm sweating. Okay, I needed the air on because I'm going to die in here. Um, so I didn't pick out any of these foundations myself. So I don't have a choice if the color matches or not. My sister just gave them to me to see if I'd like them or they'd work for me. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. So I don't really know. I haven't tried any of these yet. So that's what we're going to do today. My sister is beautiful. Pale skin, light, light blonde hair, blue eyes, like everything I always wanted to be. And then I'm like this. Um, so... Yeah, she she can't really find, she has a struggle finding foundations that work for her, which I get it. Any skin type, it's kind of hard to find a foundation. Even for me, like I don't consider myself tan, but I'm I have more color than her, uh, believe it or not. So we are going to just give them a try, see if they work for me. A lot of the times they do. So let's go ahead and get in. The first one I'm gonna use is the Too Faced Born This Way. I have actually never even tried this. I've always picked it up maybe like four times. I've like picked it up to buy it and then I'm like get distracted and buy something else. So let's see. <gasps> I don't know if this is my color. Oh, it's kind of hard. Like my, oh, this is not my color. <laughs> Look at it. This may not, maybe it will. Okay, I don't even know, I guess I maybe should have looked, like, what these are. Medium to full coverage, okay, I like that, I like a full coverage, personally. Oh, honey, this is not my color, oh my god, look at that, <laughs> okay, we're just gonna make it work and just see the formulation. But McKenna, did you watch Jaclyn Hill's uh, tutorial for fair skin? as if she's like in the room with me, but I liked it. I thought it was fun. That it was really cute. But yeah, like I was saying, me and my sister look nothing alike. Like absolutely nothing alike. And I always wondered like if my mom, like that bugged my mom, I've never even asked her, but I've always wondered if that's bugged her because I feel like when I have kids, like I want them to look like Sebastian. Oh, this. Oh my color. That's okay. Um, I've always wanted, I've always wanted them to look like Sebastian. Like I think I want them to be little Colombians. Like ugh, that's so cute. And but I do want them to have my dimple. Sorry, but I literally want them to have my dimple. I gotta bring this down the neck, on my shoulders. I feel like this would be really pretty on me in the in the winter. Like I feel like it'll be pretty on me. And maybe it's because my eyes are dark. But I actually really love this. Like it looks really pretty. And it's like pretty buildable. Yeah. Sorry, this is my first ever makeup video. I fun fact about me, or maybe about lots of other people. I wanted to be a makeup artist. When I graduated high school, I was like dead set. I was gonna do um makeup for film and movies and tv like that was just my goal that was everything so i got this job at a makeup store which is no longer existent because crazy um but i got a job there and 
the first time I had to do makeup. A, I'm like not trained. I thought I was just gonna like sell the makeup, talk to people, have fun, you know. But it was like a thing where people would get their <laughs> makeup done for their wedding and like, oh, I feel so bad because I was like, obviously there were other girls there that were so much more talented than me. Hi Nikki, hi Maddie, hi Maddie, if you're watching both of the Maddies, if they're watching this. But they were just like, obviously, they went to school to be estheticians, so we had skincare and makeup. So I was the only like makeup person. No, not even makeup. What, what do we call it? Like a front end person. Like I would um, sell the product and talk to the people and like if they made appointments for skincare, facials, that other girls would do it. But if they made an appointment for a wedding, like we all kind of went for it. <laughs> and the first time I had to, it was like a mom of the bride or something. It was just like a mom. I don't know. So it wasn't like the wedding girl, the bride. Oh my God. So it wasn't her, but it was her mom. And she was wearing this white, I don't know if it was white pants or just a white skirt or a white dress or something. She was wearing white. And I went, we had like these reusable makeup mascara wands. Just so, you know, it was like sanitary because they were like crazy about that. Um... We had those reusable ones, and so I went to go dip it in, I went to go do her mascara, and I dropped it on her outfit. Oh my god. And that was the end of my makeup. I knew for a fact, like, doing other people's makeup made me so nervous, so, like, awkward and uncomfortable that I just hated it. So I didn't do it again. That's how I realized, like, okay, I like makeup for myself and for me, and occasionally, like, I'll help out my mom or my friend or something. I don't know. But, like, that was... Mortifying. Mortifying. Yay. Okay, so this is the base. Obviously, it's not my color. Like, I'm tan. Hey. So this is the coverage. I love the coverage. I like full coverage just because I have that marking from when my skin was bad like a year ago. Oh my gosh. You know when it like pops up on Snapchat, like your memories? My skin was horrible horrible it was the worst it's ever been so um i really do like the coverage for this it's pretty buildable i can't really tell you guys how it's gonna last throughout the day so i apologize but if i like i do really like this like it feels like even though it's liquid it doesn't feel like wet and sticky like i immediately want to set my face like it just feels good it feels like clean and natural i really like this foundation so i just want to see like if i bronze my face like is it savable and i only wear turtlenecks <laughs> and long sleeve but i do love this the bronzer that i'm using is oh my god i love it it smells so good is the butter bronzer by physicians formula love it i'm going ham sandwich with this so that's it with the bronzer kind of blended in. I would like it a little bit darker just to match my body because you can kind of see like it just doesn't match. But I do love this coverage. Like looking in the mirror, I think it looks so pretty on my skin. Like so pretty. And again, it doesn't feel like gross and sticky. Like it's just gonna, if someone like touches you, it's gonna wipe all the way off. So yeah, I think I would definitely give this a try. I love it. I'm gonna use this definitely in the winter because right now it's not working. Moving on to our next foundation. I'm gonna prime just because I feel like I should prime every time and give them a fair chance, you know? I think we're gonna still, because I have two more. So I think I'm gonna go with the Flower Light Infusion. This is the Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. Okay, it has sunscreen SPF 18. That's nice. So I bet this is gonna be pretty dewy. And I'm not scared of dewy, I just prefer something a little bit more like natural to matte just because I can kind of get a little oily. Okay, this one looks like a little bit better. We're slowly getting a tan. I have been obsessed with Queer Eye. I just like rewatch episodes because they make me so happy. Those boys, I just, ugh. If I could have like an ounce of like love and grace and confidence that they have, like I would just be the best person. I love them. I think that they are just the cutest boys. Anthony's my favorite. Well, he's not my favorite. He's my favorite looking. Like I just love it. Like I think he's, Sebastian's going to kill me. I always tell Sebastian. Um, I think he's the cutest looking. Like he's so handsome. I love him. And I feel like the way, ooh, the way that he 
talks about food, like I just love him and I think he's so smart and so cute. Um, but Tan is one of my faves and Jonathan. I do like Karamo and I, I like all of them, but my top three are Anthony, Tan, Jonathan. Because Jonathan makes me laugh. He's just like, oh, I love them. And I love watching their interviews on YouTube. Oh, this hand is like, he's a chill. I love watching their interviews on YouTube. They are just so cute. Okay, I really love this one. This one I think is like, I like it a little bit better, even though I feel like this one's dewier. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I love this one a lot. I feel like it's not bad at not matching. Hold on, maybe if I'm not. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I love this one. Drew Barrymore, this is her line. And if you guys have been watching me for a minute and a half, I love Drew Barrymore. I love her book. I love everything that she touches. Like, she's just amazing. And I heard that their beauty sponge by Flower is really good, the purple one. It feels so good on my skin. I love it. I feel like the coverage, let me look in the mirror. I feel like the coverage is really pretty. Oh, also, I didn't mention this. I'm like growing hairs or like a widow's peak or something. I woke up one day, obviously they're longer. They're getting very long. I'm very proud of them. But I woke up one day and I had like just all these little baby hairs right here. And I was like, what the heck? And I'm literally growing. Oh, this looks so ugly. I didn't address it. I should have addressed Maybe I'll put this at the beginning of the video. <laughs> but okay, that's not cute. Yeah, I absolutely... I love this coverage. I feel like it's super buildable, but at the same time, like that was, oh, I put a couple pumps. I always say, it was one pump. No, it was like, I think I used two pumps. And it's so, so pretty. Oh, I love this. Okay, this was in the shade, maybe unless, if you guys are really fair, I should tell you the shade. So born this way, this was snow. <laughs> oh my God. And this was too dark for my sister. That's so funny. And then this one is... Porcelain L1. So Porcelain L1. I feel like I'll be like super good with this in the winter. So pretty. I don't want to put bronzer on because I'm lazy, but and I've got to do this one more time. So, oh, I love this. So go check this out. This is drugstore. This is obviously high end. So it's kind of like a high low kind of video. Um, I think that they both are pretty similar in the way. I mean, it's hard because maybe I just didn't like this one because the color, like it was hard to look at myself, even though this one's like... I'm going to clean off my lips. This one still is fair for me, but I think, honestly, I love buying drugstore makeup. Like, I just, I gravitate towards that, so I think I would rather buy this, to be honest. But this is also good. I'm no help. <laughs> so we have one more final foundation. Again, we're going to prep the skin. This was kind of, like, tedious, <laughs> so I'm sorry. I didn't think about this. So, the last one that we're going to try, which I'm actually really excited about, hold on, I can't take that off, is the Revolution Makeup, wait, Revolution Makeup Revolution London, oh my god, it's kind of annoying, this one looks like this, yeah, it's really cute, it's a stick foundation, for a while I was using, oh, do I have it in here? For a while, I was using the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. This is a stick foundation. I really liked it. I just love drugstore. I don't know if I, like, a lot, some things I'll play around with and buy high end, but for the most part, I just like to buy drugstore. It's easy. So I'm going to try this out. Yeah. I'm just going to take this. Uh oh. This one is going, this is literally white on me. Okay. Oh, it feels so good though. My sister said, because I, when she gave this to me, I had, <laughs> this looks like a face mask. <laughs> when my sister gave this to me, she told me that it was a new brand at Ulta. Um, I've never heard of them before, so I was like really excited to try this. And I had some of you guys ask for me to do this so that I could let you know how it is. <sighs> We are white. And I know I put a lot, but that's because I like a lot of coverage. Like, even if this was tan. Where my lips go? This is like <laughs> McKenna. <laughs> when she sees this video, she's going to like pee her pants. I, and she was like, these are too dark for me, but they'll be perfect for you. 
okay? But again, this is not the point of the video. The point of the video is to see formulation and how they how they work. We're gonna put that into my hairline, make me look a little, oh my God, I look like a ghost. Okay. I'm just gonna like pretend that you guys are not watching me and I'm just doing this in my bathroom like I would. And just like that no one thinks I look like a little crazy person. But I really, really did want to give these, this is like the best thing to do, I feel like, is to find someone, like a friend or a sister or something who tries makeup too or who enjoys makeup and then they buy the stuff and then they don't like it so then they give it to you for you to try so that you know, okay, I don't like that, I don't have to buy it. Even though the, like you look like a crazy person because the color is bad, but like at least you're testing out for free. I don't know. Maybe I like a budget too much. Should I try to bronze? Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to try to bronze the face. Okay, so this is me bronzed up. Didn't really help a ton, but I just felt like maybe it would be a little bit better. Uh, so I loved this. Like I said, it's like that stick uh, formula, but it's going to be a little bit cakey sometimes. Obviously, like, I don't feel cakey. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't feel like I look cakey, but maybe I do. But I just love it. Like, I love this stick foundation. I love that it's, like, a dewy finish. Like, look at how pretty that is for the summer. Like, you just look with your hair up. You just look... Are those muscles? Oh, no. Oh, my God, maybe. Look at those. Okay. Um, with your hair up, I just think it looks so pretty. Like, I love a dewy finish in the summer. I, I'm going to look up the prices and see between those two. Let's see. See how much that is. Okay, so Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick, which is this. So this is in the shade. I'm gonna, my battery's gonna die. Sorry, my battery died. So hopefully, I'm kind of still, whatever, in the same spot. So this one was $9, which was really good. And then let me look up the Flower Beauty. This one is, oh, it says Ulta. So maybe we can get it at Ulta. This one is $13.99. So let's see. Nine. That's so embarrassing that I'm doing this, but I just want to like, I can't think fast. That's $4. <laughs> so that's a $4 difference between the two. Obviously this one you're looking at a higher end. $25 to $30 you're going to be spending on this. But I honestly feel like the coverage is equally the same all across the board. I love the coverage on all of them. I like a full coverage, so all of them are pretty medium to full coverage. You can build them up. These two, I don't know, it's so, so hard because now that it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of oxidizing. Is it just me? But like, I feel like now it's kind of a little bit normal on my skin, at least this one. This one I didn't have a problem with the color wise. I think it'll be really pretty for me. Um, if I stay out of the sun and cover up my shoulders, I feel like my chest to my neck, it's cute. Yeah, like if I cover my chest, that matches. But um, out of my own opinion I feel like I would much rather go for the flower beauty just because I'm kind of still finding a love for stick foundations but as a stick goes and for the drugstore I think it's even better than what I was using it's even better than the Revlon one because this one can get really really cakey and it's not like a dewy finish whereas this one I feel like is so pretty on the skin. So for my personal opinion I would definitely go with the flower but I loved all of them. It's so hard because I can't wear any of them till like December. Alright so that's the video for you guys. Uh, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you aren't already. I would love to have you here on my channel. Let me know if you guys end up trying, <laughs> that was scary, if you guys end up trying any of these brands. Uh, like I said, all across the board, they're pretty, pretty even um, for coverage and I just really liked the way that they all applied. Um, it's just price point at this point for me, I think, and like what you're into. If you like a stick, there you go. If you like a liquid, there you go. That None of them are matte, so I'm sorry if that's what you were coming here for, but I would give them a try and what else do I have to say? I don't know. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.